Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I have so many incredible pieces of leather and leather wallets to show you today. We're going to take a look at some of these small batch wallets that are now available on the website and I'll also be showing you some of the wallets that we're shipping out today. Up first, I have a really incredible Johnny the Fox and I find the name that we chose for it to be kind of funny. We're calling this the Dexter style of this Johnny the Fox. This is a color number eight shell cordovan piece but it's flipped around backwards so we're taking a look at the reverse side of the shell here and we chose some reverse shells here that have extra die splatter which is why we're calling it the dexter look and we've also hand glazed and polished in this reverse shell so it has a really nice shimmer to it along with all these random die marks honestly this one is something that would normally show up in our private stock items but we did make three of them that will be available right now on the website and here's a quick look at the Dexter style, all reverse color H shell cordovan foxes. This one also has great die marks on the inside and out. And the third one here, check this guy out. Really cool die marks. These are a little bit more linear, sort of come in from the top down to the bottom. And the insides on all these are just super cool. And we do have a couple other Dexter style Johnny the Foxes here. There's two of these with the color eight reverse extra die splatter and glazed exterior. Check out the die marks on that one. That's really cool. The difference with these, so we have a couple with the black shell cordovan on the inside, which I think also pair very nicely with that reverse color eight on the exterior. Here's a look at the other one. Really, really cool die marks on this piece and with the black shell on the inside. And here I have three more Johnny the Foxes in three different leathers that we've never done before. This first one here is a leather that is pretty similar to the black Dublin leather, but this is a leather from Horween that's called Mystic. And the Mystic is a little bit different than the Dublin. It's still a veg tan leather here with a nice wax finish on the surface, but this one has been polished smooth. So we don't see as much of that intense grain character on the black Mystic. And we've paired this one with a black horse hide on the interior to keep the thickness down. I really like these horse hide interiors because it's just about the perfect thickness for this traditional style wallet. Here's another really special leather and when i saw this for the first time i was really excited it's so difficult for any tannery to make a natural appearance of a gray color or something that doesn't look like paint and i think that this leather here which is called deville from horween i think this has an incredible natural appearance while still maintaining a very nice gray shade the deville leather here is a combination tan leather so it's a chrome tan leather with a vegetable retannage and they apply a lot of wax to this and tumble it which is why you're getting this gray appearance and i think it's really beautiful we've complemented this gray with a black stitch and again the black horsehide interior on the inside we do have a couple of those available and if you've been watching the channel two days ago i did an interview with skip horween and he talked about this leather in depth this is a leather called latigo from horween it's a really cool also combination tan leather with an incredible amount of tree barks that make a really great veg character for the patina of this particular leather so when you wear this it will get darker and a little bit more deep in color so even though this one starts off almost like a baby blue i expect this will be quite dark just with normal use the other thing that you can observe on all the latigo leathers is as you wear it the luster will start to change so you can see this one has a very subtle sheen to it but the latigo leather that i've worn becomes very glassy and polished again just with normal use and i almost forgot i actually have an old piece of latigo here for my key fob i believe this is actually the same color here as this regatta blue but this latigo on the key fob this has been worn for about 10 years take a look at the shine that i'm talking about very glassy bright shiny luster and that color has changed just so dramatically in a really beautiful way i just love how the latigo ages and to continue on with the small batch stuff for today's drop we made a really great batch of marbled color eight shell cordovan frank the enforcers i love the color range in the marbled shells they sort of range on the color eight marbled from a color eight shell that burgundy shade a little dark brown reddish undertones and it ranges down to like this little bit more of an orangey tan and all of the colors in between i think that's really nice we're going to put a special price on these and you're also allowed and welcome to use the father's day 10 percent off coupon right now that coupon code is dad 2021 here's a look at another one color eight marble shell cordovan now i like to show multiples of these because each piece of marble shell cordovan is different so each one of these Frank the Enforcers that we make out of that leather will also be unique. And if you take a look at the table here, I've got six different Bugs Morans that we've made some small batch items for. Let's start off with another marbled piece. This is black marbled shell cordovan. And you might notice 
The black marbled is kind of green, and I love how it fades from that forest green down to this orangey tan in the same way that the Color 8 marbled will range from the burgundy to a tan. This black reverse and black marble tend to be a little bit more green of a shade. Here's a look at the outside of this one. I love the texture in this particular shell where it has a little bit more of a subtle texture and contrast in color. And like I said, I like to show multiples of the marble shell. So here's another black marble shell. You can see this card holder on the left. This is a really dramatic contrast of color. I tend to like it this dramatic way, but I think most people like this a little bit more of a subtle look with the color range. And here's a look at the outside of this one. Up next here is my favorite shell cordovan color. This is the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. And I was talking to Dave, I put up an interview this morning for the Let's Buy Boot series. We were talking about how some leathers and colors are a little bit elusive and invasive to see what their actual color are, especially in a still photo. That's why I like to rock these leathers back and forth in the light so you can see all the range of color. And the Amaretto Shell Cordovan can range from sort of like a reddish orangey tan and other angles it appears a little bit more yellow like this angle here. And if I just spin it around, you see it comes a little darker. So it does have a really dramatic color shift to it. And perhaps that's one of the reasons I love this Amaretto Shell Cordovan so much. And I have another Amaretto Shell Cordovan option here, but this one has a reverse interior and I like the reverse interiors for most every wallet because I feel that it wears in a little bit better than when the shell rubs against itself on the inside of a wallet. I find the reverse shells to be a little bit more easily polished up and filled in as opposed to shell on shell. And here's another wallet with a reverse interior, but this is the Bugs Moran and Garnet Shell Cordovan, again with that reverse interior. Great Horwin ink stamps, really cool random die marks on this piece. If you're not familiar with the Garnet Shell Cordovan, it's the most red color that Horwin makes on their Shell Cordovan. In some angles, it kind of looks like color four, and other angles, more of these red tones sort of pop out. It's a little bit more of like a cherry red. Some people talk a little bit about how the color number four and the Garnet Shell Cordovan age to become kind of similar to the color eight Shell Cordovan. That's more or less true. But on the Garnet Shell Cordovan, you seem to retain this sort of red look on the undertones for a longer period of time. And here's another really nice piece of marble Shell Cordovan. We made a small batch of color eight marble Shell Cordovan Bugs Moran, like you can see here. Check out this color. Really cool contrast from the burgundy shade. Down to a little bit more of like a golden yellow on this particular one. Let me give you a look at the inside. More of that contrast between the golden yellow, a little bit of orange to the red shade here. And let's give you a look at one more. This one has a great contrast on the outside. All the marble shells that we cut for this small batch are really, really special. They'll tend to look kind of like this. And you should look at the inside of this one. And the last Bugs Moran to show you from the small batch, this is another Garnet Shell Cordovan piece, but this is Garnet Shell Cordovan on the outside as well as Garnet Shell Cordovan on the inside. Again, this is the most red color that Horween makes. It's really vibrant at some angles, and it's a little bit more tame, a little bit more brown at other angles. Just a really beautiful shade. And something to note about the Garnet Shells, we've actually had these shells for a while, we ordered a lot of garnet shells a couple of years ago, and we've slowly been cutting different wallets into them. The batch of shells that we got for these particular garnet pieces are some of the nicest shells around. They're super smooth and flat, and even they have a really silky smooth feel, which is exactly what you want on the shell cordovan. So all of these Bugs Moran, as well as those Frank the Enforcers and Johnny the Foxes will be available on the flash sale page of our website. And please do feel free to use the Father's Day discount code. You can get 10% off in addition to some of the sale prices that we have for these small batch items. Okay, let's slide in the boat and look at some of the stuff that we are shipping out today. If you ordered from our website in the last day, you probably see your item in the boat here and we'll go over them one by one. The first one here is a really cool one-shot card case in the raw Latigo. And this is just like the Latigo we've been talking about, but very, very naked, very raw. This one will develop an incredible patina. And I have another minimalist style to show you here. This is the Frank the Enforcer in a really nice looking piece of natural shell cordovan. The natural shell sort of ranges a little bit from this caramel shade and gets a little lighter at some angles. You can see the directionality of the shell right there where the top is a little lighter and this bottom is a little bit more orange little darker and as I spin this around that should flip and change so now the the larger piece here is a little lighter and the bottom piece is a little darker and a lot of people have been picking up belts from us and we do have a few different belts available this one in brown chrome excel is one of the options we also have natural chrome excel and english tan dublin and our belts are really nice very comfortable because they're unlined this is just one honking thick piece 
of Chrome Excel. It's about nine ounces thick and which makes a perfect belt weight. And speaking of popular items, we recently launched some Apple watch bands in some non-shell cordovan colors that people have been picking up left and right. This first one here is color number eight Chrome Excel. This is the same color as the shell cordovan color eight, but translated onto the Chrome Excel leather. And we finished the flesh side, the reverse side of this strap with a little bit of more color eight stain and a little bit of a resin finish that really gives it a nice clean look and it makes it extra comfortable on your wrist. Here's another really nice looking Apple watch band. This one is in the black Chrome Excel and of the batch that we made recently, the black Chrome Excel really stuck out to me as the, the stunner. There's something about this sleek look of everything blacked out, black hardware, black stitching, the black leather, all the edges are black and the underside of this watch strap is also black. And here's another contradiction for you here. This is a reverse black shell cordovan. I know it doesn't look black at all and that's because the reverse side of the black shell is a little bit more of this greenish tan shade. Sometimes it can range a little bit more to this forest green shade like you see on the keepers for this Apple watch strap. But if you look at the back side here, the side that's going to touch your wrist this is actually the shell side, which tends to be also very comfortable, whether it's shell side touching your wrist or reverse shell. There's something about a veg tan strap that really molds well to your wrist. Up next here is a natural Chrome Excel Johnny the Fox. And I met with George from Oak Street Bootmakers yesterday. He was telling me that the natural Chrome Excel is their most popular leather. And we sell a lot of natural Chrome Excel wallets. Although English Tan Dublin for us is a little bit more popular right now and I kind of miss wearing my Capone money clip. This particular style is a little bit more minimalist, but it can hold a lot of stuff because there's two card slots on the exterior and then two card slots on the inside and this money clip in the center. I have another minimalist piece here, but this is the reverse color eight two shot card case. So there's one card slot in the front and then one larger one in the top here in the back and then a nice Horween ink stamp on the exterior. We have a couple small key cases to show you today. Another reverse piece. This is black reverse shell cordovan. Again, it's a little bit greener. This is the Lexington key case. It has one screw post on the top, but the vault key holder here, and this one is in a blue shell cordovan. This looks like intense blue. This one has two screw posts, one on the left and one on the right. These sort of swivel in and out of the case. You can sort of snap it closed and then set your keys onto these posts. The tops screw off and you can just lay your keys right on top of each of them. And you fit about three or four keys on each side and it's really nice to just throw in your pocket or into your bag. And we've got four more wallets to look at that are shipping out today. Check out this particular one here. This is a tall Tony the Ant in natural Chrome Excel with vertical card slots on the inside. We haven't done a lot of these, but I really like the way that this one turned out. Check that out. Really clean look on the inside where we have a continuous piece of natural Chrome Excel on the inside, as well as that continuous huge chunk of leather on the outside. There's the bill slot in the back here which is uh, similar to our normal Tony the Ant, but the bill slot goes all the way to the top instead of having the thumb notch like the normal Tony the Ant. And here's another great natural Chrome Excel piece. Just take a look at the shine of this one. Really nice little glow to the luster of this particular piece. And the Chrome Excel leather is known as a pull-up leather. So when you flex this leather, you sort of pull up the undertones that are a little bit lighter in color and it gets a nice color depth to it because the surface color remains a little bit dark. Like if you look at the inside, we actually use horsehide Chrome Excel for the Giant the Fox interiors to keep that thickness to a manageable amount. And here's another vertical card slot orientation, but this one's on the Bugs Moran, so there's no bill slot on the outside. We've got a really cool combo here, some amaretto and blue shell. I really like how that looks. Let's take a look at the inside. We've got some blue shell cordovan on the exterior with a really nice contrasting stitch. Let me give you a little zoom in of that. The way that these two colors are playing off together is really nice. It's sort of like a reddish brown, a lighter brown shade to contrast against this blue. And the last wall of the day, this one is a total stunner. If you're into patina, this is probably the one you wanna get. This is a leather called Raw Natural Shell Cordovan. And again, this is a tall Tony the Ant. So we have the bill slot that extends all the way to the top. And take a look at this extra amount of figuring and texture on this particular piece of raw natural shell. That is really, really beautiful. And the raw natural that I've worn really develops to be much darker and golden brown in color. And then the luster, you can see, it starts off a little bit more of like a matte finish, but when this is worn, just naturally, it becomes brighter and shinier, which makes it really special. A lot of people are into the patina, into having the leather age with them and change over time. So this is a perfect leather choice for that. So thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions about the small batch stuff, maybe you have a question about the Dexter wallets, which I still think is a funny uh, color name for that. Uh, definitely let me know, leave a comment, it's me an email. 
And until next time, I hope you have a good one.